welcome back to Hi Now Daily. We are here at Hale Makua, and our next guest here with me today is Alohi Gomes. She is a social services um, employee here, and I just wanted to thank you for joining me today. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Yes, um, you know, we talked to Teana a little earlier about how your folks team just sprung into action um, the day of the fires, and then I wanted to talk to you about how that was for you because I know that you were on the phone. You said you're talking to hundreds of people yeah. at a time just to get everything together, and it's because of this um, emergency fund that you guys put mm -hmm. together. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, of course. So there was three fires, right? Um, so Kula, Kihe, and Lahaina. And so of that three, there's about 500 families, both residents and employees that were impacted. Um, and at the end of the day, we just didn't have Nobody knew what was going on. So at one point, we were just calling everybody. Everybody, um, we did a full resident roster and we did a full staff roster. Um, and so on days that we weren't, like Tiana was saying, we we're going out to Lahaina, on days that we weren't doing that or in between that time, I was on the phone talking to people. And what came from those conversations were finances. How do I, how do I pay for my food now over here in town? Now I have a family household size of like 20 people in my house. I'm used to only seven. What do I do? I need money to pay for food. And that's kind of where um, our team said, you know what, we need a fund to get started so that we can support financially these families. And so there was about 179 families and individuals that were able to support with about um, almost a half a million. Wow. That's a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> about half a million. And most of the families, when I was calling them, they didn't want it. They're like, no, I, I, I still have my house. I just don't have access or, oh, I don't have my house, but you know, we, we saved some money on the side, give it to somebody who, who needs it more. And if that doesn't show you Maui, I don't really know what does. <laughs> Absolutely. I love that everybody was able to come together, support in ways that mm -hmm. they can. And when we're talking about donations, you said a lot of money came in. Like, what were the partners like? How did this all happen? Yeah. And then how did that money get turned around and sent out to the people in need? Yep. So um, at the time, no one really has access to their phones, their you know laptops. So a lot of the time we're on the phone with them. And um, I was sitting there on the phone doing their um, application with them. Um, so we had like Hawaii Community Foundation donated a lot of money, um, Global Giving, and then we also had Ohana Pacific and pretty much everybody, myself too included, pulling out the pennies, pulling out the dollar bills, seeing how that can help. So their application, the list turned into um, an application process because we knew who was impacted. So mm -hmm. we wanted to funnel that into the um, application online. And then from the application online, we made sure that our staff and our residents were taken care of. And then we opened that up to the community. Wow, incredible, man. Just to see everybody come together. It's so inspiring. Yeah. And like you said, Maui is like no place else. The people from here are coming together, yeah. pulling money from their pockets and just trying to help in ways, whatever ways that they could. And then I wanted to ask how it was for you just to be in the thick of everything and seeing hearing all the calls everything coming in how was that for you um honestly we don't talk about it enough the mental health of everyone who was impacted those who were um caregivers those who were actually you know watched their houses burn down nobody talks about like what we went through um it was really hard for me personally to have my phone in my pocket going Oh, I hope my cousin's okay. I hope my auntie's cousins, uncles, right? All of this. And then pulling up and seeing their house is gone and going, oh, I'm at work. We gotta work. We yeah. gotta go. It, it, I get it. There's a lot of stuff going on here, 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 but we gotta move. We yes. gotta get these things done. We gotta get these residents into chairs. We gotta mm -hmm. get them to dialysis. We gotta do stuff. We mm -hmm. gotta, there's a lot more than just wow. me. Right, right. Yeah. And then, um, you know, last question. I wanted to ask, you know, with the funds being dispersed, I know that there were some leftovers, some donations still came in just recently. So for those who are on this long list of people waiting for a little bit of support, um, there's still something there for them, yes. right? Um, Maui hasn't stopped needing support. We haven't stopped um, giving support to each other as well. So we do have our online is still open, the donation with Hale Makua. Um, there's still funds to be given out. So we're working tirelessly to make sure that everyone gets what they need. Okay, well, if people wanted to continue to donate, would you please drop that website so everybody will know how? Yeah, so um, halemukua.org slash um, donate, and then you can always um, donate. When you donate, you want to make sure you're putting in the little box at the bottom, recovery, so that we know that that's specific to recovery. Uh, while you're there, you might see some other stuff, like donating for 
us and the stuff that we do every day aside from recovery. So if that's part of what you feel your Awamo today is, do it. Great, I welcome it 100%. Alohi, thank you so much for joining me today, sharing everything that you've gone through, that what your team is doing here, and again, continue to support Holly Makua and all the efforts that they're doing here on Maui. We are going to take a quick break, but we'll be back with more of Hainal Daily from the Valley Isle.